The LumCube Tube Light Mini is a portable light wand designed for photographers and content creators on the go. It's packed with a ton of features for still photography and videography, so stay tuned for this review to see if it might be right for you. Before we get started, make sure to visit my sponsors in the description below and download my free five portrait tips PDF. Now, while you're there, check out my gear page at b &H Photo to see everything that I use for my portrait work and for these YouTube videos. I've also linked the Tube Light Mini, so check that out as well. When LumCube first contacted me and asked me to check out the new Tube Light Mini, I knew right away that I wanted to give this a go in my studio. Now, I've been looking for a portable, powerful LED light wand and on paper, Paper, it looked like it might have been just what I was looking for. Now keep in mind that LumCube had no input on the content of this video and they're not going to see this review until you do. Those of you who follow me know that I almost exclusively use constant light in my portrait studio and although the Tube Light Mini has many excellent applications for video work, I was really more excited to try for headshots and portraits. So in this review I'm going to show you four different ways that I use this light to make great engaging portraits and then I'm also going to discuss some of the video applications as well. Without going through every spec since that's easy to do online, let's talk about the main features. The Tube Light Mini is water and shock resistant and it's housed in an aluminum casing. In addition to being able to choose any color your heart desires, the light has a Kelvin adjustment from 2700 to 7500K and brightness adjustment from zero to 100%. It also has a number of special effects included. It features a rechargeable lithium battery and it has a backlit LCD screen, which really makes it easy to see in dark conditions. Both ends of the light feature a tripod mount and it also comes with a tabletop tripod and a wrist strap in a case. One of the best parts about the Tube Light Mini is that it is Bluetooth enabled, so all of the features can be easily controlled by a very easy and intuitive to use app which finds the wand right away when enabled. In my studio, I use the Tube Light Mini in four different ways, as a rim light, as a key light, as a fill light, and for light painting effects. One of the things that I love to do in my portraits is to add a color rim light. Now the rim light is that little strip of light across the shadow side of the subject's face. And it gives the image a lot more drama while still being subtle. In the past, I would use an eight and a half by 11 gel and clamp it to a large light panel. But this was awkward and I was very limited by the amount of gels I had. But using the Loom Cube as a rim light was very easy and it gave me a lot more flexibility. First, I can easily change the brightness and the color right from the app to get the exposure exactly where I want it. Second, the light is small and easily attaches to a stand without taking a lot of space. Finally, instead of being limited to 10 or so color gels, I'm able to fine tune to get the exact color I want to match my client and my scene. Next, I use the Tube Light Mini as a fill light to add not just fill to the shadow side of the face, but also a color hue. Now check out this image, which is unedited and straight out of camera. I use the Nam light as the key light and the Tube Light Mini to fill in the shadow side of the face, as well as to add sort of a reddish hue. Since my photographer friend Marcus that I photographed was wearing earthy tones, I chose a backdrop that also featured reds and browns. The cool thing about this is that by adding the Loom Cube and dialing in a warm reddish color, it gave the image almost a color graded effect right in camera without having to do any heavy lifting in post, which I thought was pretty cool. Next, I wanted to find out if the Tube Light Mini could be used as a single key light for portraits and provide enough light for at least a half length photo. Again, I was impressed with how the light performed in this role and the ability to adjust the color temperature made dialing in the desired Kelvin really, really easy and convenient. Not only was the light able to provide more than ample brightness for the portraits I took, but the quality of the light is actually very soft and pleasing without any harshness to it. In these images, I had my friend handhold the light just out of frame at about a 45 degree angle, and I was very happy with the results I got. Finally, an LED light like this really begs you to do some light painting. So the last thing we did was 
some cool effects with the tube light mini. We set the light up to rotate through different colors automatically and then used a five second exposure to paint the light across the background of the image. Since the light can be mounted to a C-stand arm or you can even use the tabletop tripod as a grip, making these creative portraits was also fun and pretty easy to do. Although a lot of my content is focused on still photography, I would be remiss if I did not mention how great a light like this is for video work. Whether you are making talking head videos like me and you just want a decorative light perhaps in the background, or if you're looking for something that you can use for product photography, this light is a versatile tool that can help you create engaging videos and I don't think it's gonna disappoint. Check out some of this B-roll footage I took for one of my upcoming lens reviews. I simply wave the wand past the lens to create these clips of the Fuji 50 to 140 lens, and then I also used it as the main light source too. I even like the way it looks in the video standing next to the lens as part of the total scene. It looks pretty cool. As I mentioned, I had been looking for a light like this, so when LumCube contacted me to review the product, I had hoped that it would be exactly what I was looking for in a compact, portable light for studio and location work. And I'm happy to say that it is. The light is well made, has an excellent output, pleasing quality for portraits, and a ton of features that both still and video photographers will love. I can highly recommend the Tube Light Mini, and I think that LumCube did a wonderful job on this product. Finally, if you found this review helpful and you're gonna get yourself one of these lights, I would greatly appreciate if you use my link to b &H Photo in the description below. Well, that's all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Here's wishing you an awesome day, my friends. Go out and take some great pictures, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>